This one we're going to look at a here journal. I typically head my paper at the top with here, the date, which what is today? 9 10 2020. And then I'll put the scripture I read that I'm supposed to read that day. Exodus 14 at the top of my paper. Now you'll remember from our previous video that here stands for H, highlight, A, nope, E, explain, A, apply, R, respond. Now, before you start a HEAR journal, you always want to pray. You want to pray that God would speak to you through the time that you have with Him, through the Scripture, that God would help you to understand it. He would help you to apply it. After you pray, you're going to read the Scripture that was been assigned to you. So, in this reading, I was assigned Exodus 14, and you can see right here, it's the crossing of the Red Sea. So, I read all of this, all of this this up here. And when I do a here journal and I read scripture, I typically have to read my scripture passage several times before I feel like I really have the understanding of it and before I can identify what the Lord wants me to draw out of it. So read and reread. After you do that, you're going to move into your journal. So we're going to actually look at one of my old journals in this video. This is a journal I did back in February 2019 when we were in the midst of deciding where God was leading us, if he was leading us to church plants or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lead you through this journal. I'm going to cover up the ones you don't need to read yet. So you can see here, I wrote the here journal here, all this, February 2019. Okay. Um, so I, 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 I read this passage thoroughly several times and I found something to highlight okay so I wrote down the verse that really stood out to me and I wrote down the reference as well and the verse that stood out to me in this scripture was Moses said to the people fear not stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord which he will work for you today for the Egyptians whom you see today you shall never see again the Lord will fight for you. You will have only to be silent. That really spoke to me. So after I did my H, my highlight, I moved down here. I wrote an E, and I wrote down my, my explain section of the here journal. Now for this, you're going to think about, let's pull this over here. You're going to think about, why was this written? Oh gosh, there we go. Why was this written? To whom it was originally written? How does it fit with the verses before and after it? Why did the Holy Spirit include this passage in the book? What is he intending to communicate through this text? Or any other thoughts or connections or notes you want to jot down? So you're thinking of those things. So this is really typically like your notes, your, um, your thoughts, your connections, your context, all that sort of stuff. So, you can see that my explain is pretty long. It's all the way to there. Now, sometimes my journals, they only take up this, this much of the page. Sometimes they're several pages long. It just really depends on the day. All right, so for my explain, I put, Moses has led the people out of Egypt. They have traveled through the wilderness and are set before the Red Sea. The Egyptians have pursued them. Now the Israelites are scared and they blame Moses. They regret following the Lord and Moses. They see no scenario in which they will live. They say it would be better for us to serve the Egyptians than die in the wilderness. Moses charges them to not fear and to stand firm. God will work your salvation. The Lord will fight for you. The requirement is to be silent. No complaining or worrying. So that was, that was the explain section that I had. All right, so next... This is really the heart of the year journal we're getting into. The A for apply. Now, 
this is where you want to use I statements. And you want to think about how this applies to you. Um, some questions that can help guide you during this time would be, how can this help me? What does this mean today? What would the application of this verse look like in my life? What does this mean to me? What is God saying to me? So as I read this verse, I thought about how does this apply to me today? What does this mean for me? And this is what I came up with. So this is my apply. I wrote, I don't always trust the Lord to fight for me. Do you see I started with an I statement? I didn't say that some Christians don't trust the Lord to fight for them. You got to make it more personal than that. God has a plan that we cannot see or fathom. Let me see if I can get this close enough for you guys. He may work in a miraculous way to bring about his will. Our charge is to fear not and stand firm. I have to put fear aside and trust the Lord. I have to stand firm in my faith when it's hard and trust that God can work in mighty ways. It's so comforting to think that the Lord is fighting for me. I have to be sil I have to silence doubt, complaining, and worrying. Britton and I are in a season of seek and wait. There's a desire to move on, church plant, etc., but there's no path forward. Just like the Israelites at the Red Sea. God has led us this far and now we've hit the sea. No open doors, opportunities, or callings. It feels silent. Yet God is fighting and working. We have to look ahead and wait for the miracle. <laughs> it's funny reading this journal because it was really powerful word from the Lord when I when I did this journal this day. So that's my application. So now the last part of the journal is going to be the response. So you see I've got the R here. I'm going to respond. Now I responded with a prayer. You could also respond with an action. It depends on the, the scripture and how you feel led. So for this one, I have the prayer and I said, Lord, I pray we would see a miracle. See you at work in a supernatural way. I pray our next calling would be like the splitting of the Red Sea. So obviously one path forward. Help us to wait well. Give us your mind and unity. And God did answer that prayer for us. So that was my hair journal. So this was a pretty long one. Um, and you can see kind of an other journal one. Let's see if I can see any short ones. There's no telling what's in this. Let's see. See, there's a really short one. So, you can see there. Every day is different. I hope this helped you with your year journal. Um, it's simple, and it can be long or short. Full sentences, neat writing, or bullet points. It's just a way for you to connect with the Lord in your Bible reading.